Hi, welcome to the trying to do the first stream of uh, our upcoming board game, Stellar Expedition. Um, I'm Ruud and I'm here with my two friends, Sander and Robert. Uh, this is literally the first time we're streaming something <laughs> and also literally the first time we're trying out Tabletopia. So this is probably going to go very well this evening. Um, we're putting up this stream for our chucks for next week. So we have at least one thing up uh, while this event is uh, is going. Um, before we'll uh, jump into this stream, uh, I want to mention that I'm not gonna go over all the rules of the game today. You can check that out on the website, playstellarexpedition.com. And we will just be playing playing the game and when some questions arrive then we will just answer them and see see how far we get with the game we'll probably will not be able to finish it but uh, at least you will have a good idea how the game works and how terrible we are at using tabletop simulator I will um, I do want to give a short overview of what the goal of the game is to start with um, at we are playing a three player game today as you can see i'm playing the blue player uh Sonder is playing red and robert is playing the yellow player and we all start in the middle of the board which is not very uh very big at the moment because we all have to explore the space that is uh around us which we do with placing these tiles over here we will do that in in eight rounds and in these eight rounds we will further uh, develop the the galaxy around us and we will have to go go through some missions and these missions we will be able to uh, we will be able to solve by adding some crew members in our uh, in our crew on our spaceship which we can recruit on the different planets which we have placed here on the left and underneath all these uh, tabletopia is very annoying and underneath for, well, for example this planet we have several crew members which we can recruit we and these crew members have icons and these icons correspond with the missions we have so i will go over my missions first and then i'll give it to uh, my friends here who have missions as well I have three missions, uh, a bronze one, a silver one, and a gold one. A bronze one obviously gives you less points, and a gold one will give you more points. My first simple mission is to travel to a specific location with this icon, which is an arcane location, so it has like this diamond shape. So this is very simple, I just have to go there. And my second mission is a... I have to travel to a fire location planet, but I also have to have these specific skills. So these are like, what's it like? These wings are like pilots, and these are like two archaeology skills. So I need four of these skills before I can manage this mission. And my hardest mission I got, because these are random, I have to build three embassies on a specific location, and I have to have these three icons, or I have to have three level three um, crew members which we will go through over uh, which we will go over when we are playing the game so don't be concerned about all the rules at the moment um, Sander would you go over your missions uh, for a sec of I'll course to the people to yeah let's start with uh, the bronze one here as well uh, relatively straightforward uh, the goal here is to build uh, a level one embassy on a tech location which is not my starting location if you look at the board you see that the yellow player so robert is actually on a tech uh, tech planet so that would be one way to uh, to do it we then move to the silver one well i can uh, interrupt you almost immediately there because you cannot oh. build anything on robert's planets Ah, true. <laughs> Good catch. Ah, then I have to wait for one to pop up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so the silver one, uh, that's uh, kind of comparable to roots. I need to basically have 
two medics uh, and a navigator here in terms of crew skills to fulfill uh, this goal. And this one has a bonus reward. If I travel to a city location, uh, I get a free upgrade uh, there as well. Yeah, cool. Well, I'll explain upgrades when we get to it. So uh, yeah, thanks. And your gold and mission. Yeah, the most complex one. Uh, therefore, I need to travel to a water location and I need uh, crew skills equivalent to three communications and two pirates. And the total skill level of the crew members needs to be 11 or higher. Yeah. And here, here again, you can earn a bonus reward if you manage to get three pirates uh, in the crew members that you uh, you use for this. Yeah. And cool. then you Good get that an you extra. You also mentioned those bonus rewards because I completely forgot about those. And um, and and this number that Sonder mentioned is uh, like in the top right corner of the crew I have at the moment. It's like a one. So I will need to have like uh, crew members that have equivalent like a total of 11, not, uh, sorry, more than 11. Um, so like uh, different planets have like different numbers and everything. Your captain doesn't have a number. So this is like uh, these cards I have here are my starting crew. Uh, we have like s sort of similar ish uh, captains, but everybody has like different skills. So, and Robert, what are your missions? You can press like, yes. the space bar to zoom in. Yes, so thanks, uh, Ruud. So, good evening all. Um, yeah, so first my browns mi brown mission, bronze mission, the spy mission, so I need to pay a friendly visit to one of my opponents, to Ruud or Sander. Um, and I need in these, these two symbols. Yeah, which is, like a, which is an officer and a robot skill. Because these, these are not named, so probably also Sander has played the game uh, quite a few times, so he's very much knowledgeable about all the icons, so I will uh, explain it while we uh, uh, play along. Thanks, yeah. And then, your next one? Yeah, my next one, so the silver one, is an archaeological mission. So indeed, again, um, I need to have, uh, a sh uh, what was it again, a shield? Yeah, it's like a, an, um, that's an officer and two archaeologists, yeah. which is for you is very, uh, especially the, um, the, the two missions where you need an officer, because every captain has that officer skill. So that is quite convenient okay. for you to start with. Yep. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yep. Thanks. And the gold one? And the most difficult one, indeed, is an exploration mission, and I need to travel to this green, the two green leaves location. In addition, I need two robots, and I'm not sure what these. Yeah, threes. these are like you need two level three characters. So now ah, you okay, in yeah. your hand now you have a level one and a captain. So we yeah. also need two level three characters, and you have the same requirement as Sander has that you have to have like um, uh, more than eleven total of like the sort of like strength of your crew members. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, yeah, thanks. So yeah, that's basically uh, what we will have to try and find. Uh, if we um, if if we look at, I will zoom in on, for example, my starting location. You will see that there are icons here on the right, and those mean that these other crew members, which I don't have yet, because this icon I already have in my crew. These other two are not in my crew yet, but I can upgrade my. Uh, my planet with building an extra embassy which are, is represented by these cubes and when I do so I can add a new crew member to my crew but that's not uh, the case at the moment yet we will uh, first start with the first phase of, of round one I'm going to be the first player just for convenience sake so I'll take this token to represent that I am the starting player for this round and we will go to the first phase, which is the production phase, in which we collect the resources from our current and our starting locations, which is very conveniently the same thing uh, as of now. Uh, as you can see on the bottom, we all have the same at the moment. We, can, um, we will produce three of these, which is raw materials and one crystal. And if I go to my dashboard, which is a representation of my spaceship, I can see here a lot of um, like iconography and stuff. So what I do is I add three here. 
So I go to six and I add one to the crystal. And that is also something that Sonder and Robert also immediately can do as well. So add three of these uh, uh, gray ones basically and one of the blue ones. So you can just grab it here. No, you yep. already had one, so you go to two. Yep. You start with one, so you go with two, and you start with three, so you go to six. So you immediately already have some stuff uh, to be able to build. In the second phase of a round, we go to the discovery phase. So we are playing a three-player game, so I'll take two of these tiles. I will flip them over, and I'll see what I get. Well, I'm very unlucky because I didn't find any uh, habitable locations. I only found a asteroid field and a wormhole with a trading station, with a fueling station next to it. Um, the asteroids are not very useful because there's nothing there, but you can use asteroids to block off a path for your opponent, for example. In this case, I'm not gonna do anything with it. A wormhole by itself is also not very useful because uh, use, you can use it to like travel from one wormhole to another. And uh, now there's only one wormhole, so there's no point. The only addition to this, which is nice, is that it's a refueling station is added, which means that end my turn, I get an extra crystal. So that is somewhat convenient, but I'd rather would have a, a cool planet, but no such luck. Uh, Robert, you can take two uh, of these tiles as well, which is for you on the left side. Yes. One and two. Yeah, you can flip them over. With, uh, if you press F, you can flip them. Oh, F was it. Okay, thanks. Well, you are more lucky than me, at least. I don't know what if it's useful for your mission, but... You have a you have a planet location, which is Bogar a Swamp in this case, which is a level two uh, planet. So it's not very good, but it's better than having nothing. And you have a ghost ship, which works similarly to the asteroids that it's uh, you can pass on this side. And it's also a bit similar to the refueling station that if you end your turn on that location, you get a upgrade. And you can also. Okay but you have to place it uh, next to your next location to, still yeah. and you can also yeah. turn it a bit with like if you use q and e you can you can turn it around oh yeah but tabletop simulator doesn't allow all degrees of turning like with the actual game you can uh, oh that's not allowed to place oh. it there you have to place it next to the location where you are okay yeah so yeah so you can place it there but now i block myself or not if i do this you block yourself if you have if you if you need to move from this direction to a future location here. Yeah. So. So yeah. you. But that is, oh, that's not allowed. No. But but what I said is you can flip them, but but Tabletopia doesn't allow it uh, to completely flip it as you want. So that's a bit annoying. Yeah. Thanks. All right, it's my turn. Yeah. There we go. See Not if I can so. flip it a bit for you, but no, it doesn't. So Sonder also has a level two planet. He lo found one and he has a wormhole, which now we have two wormholes. So if you get to a wormhole, you can travel for free to this, uh, uh, to this location. You can go from this one to that one. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly to place them. <laughs> and, Managed uh, to do it. It's quite, uh, and just to uh, give like an update for uh, for the game itself, you see that like um, the planets are placed now. There's like, um, there's, a, there's a water planet placed, which is something that Sonder needs for his missions. And there is a tropical planet placed, like with the green leaf icon. And that is something that some uh, that that Robert needs. So uh, we will see how uh, how that will go in the future. Who will who will build something there the first? Um, so that was the discovery phase. We're gonna do the sensor phase now, and this is represented by these dice I have here. 
you can throw these dice and they represent the sensors and see what you find in uh, in space see how I can select both of them oh, with shift that's nice and how do I roll these things like this okay so I rolled two dice I rolled a two and I rolled a raw material icon what I can do now is I can choose one of them in this case because these are both rewards and uh, the two means that I can use one of my special skills and my one is a warp boost and my two is a long range scan and so I could potentially place two new location tiles and get resources for them but at the moment well well it could be useful actually because I have I have very useless uh, tiles so I'm going to do that I'm going to place two new location tiles at any unexplored spot so I can place them anywhere I want see if I can get two of them hopefully it's better than I had previously let me see yeah these are much better I have a again a wormhole which I can place anywhere I want so I'm just gonna place it somewhere convenient for me but there are no planets yet that I need so I'm just gonna place one here and I am going to place another one over here. This is a very cool planet. This is a level five, which you see is way more expensive to, to buy something, but you also get more resources than like the level two that Sander and Robert just got. And my reward for this, was it again? Receive one, or, uh, one raw material or one crystal for each recruiting location. And these are recruiting locations so i would like to have a raw material in this case okay so now robert you can also throw these um, uh, special sensor dice you can throw yep. the ones that are near you or um so you can click one and then shift click on the other and then you can press r okay. and then you can roll them okay yep okay you That's have well you, you have a blank which well doesn't do anything and you have a raw material, so you can um, you can take a raw material, um, and you can always, but we don't have the um, we don't have the resources for that yet. Use the orange uh, cube, which is uh, which is influence. In you you could, if you have two of them, re-roll one of your dice in your turn if you want. But in this case, we only have one to start with, so you can't. So you can just take uh, one raw material for free. Okay. So that's one of these two, right? No, that's only the gray one. Oh, it's gray. Okay. Yeah, it's the same icon on this, and uh, oh, so yeah, now yeah. you go to seven. Is it seven or is it? Yeah, yeah you had six, so okay. you went to seven. Yeah. Yeah. You can use the um, uh, the right mouse to like change your camera a bit, so yeah. so it's easier to see. Now, Sander, it's your turn to check your sensors. What events? What you have mean? an event, yes. And in this case, you have an event and nothing. So it's very clear what you should do. In case if you have an event and a reward, the same happens as here. And if you would have like two events, then you have to draw two of them and you can choose which one you will encounter. So what did you encounter? Um, something bad happened, unfortunately. Being far away from home has its perks. Nobody bothers you, for example. The downside is getting the right spare parts when something breaks down. And things keep breaking down. So I can basically destroy two resources, yeah. or I can try to prevent the destruction. Yeah, yeah. You can, um, there are like uh, several different types of encounters you can find, which is uh, one of these, where you, which you can resolve by throwing, uh, uh, throwing a dice. Or you have ones that have only um, sort of like a skill check. But what you could do as well is you have to throw higher than a four. But if you would have, if you have a, an engineering crew member with one of those cogwheel icons, you can do minus one. So it would be like a 50-50 chance. So you have to throw higher than a three. But I don't know if you have one of those crew members in your hand. There's no downside to rolling uh, to prevent it, right? There's no downside. It's only, it's only a chance to 
uh, uh, to prevent it. I like my chances. Yeah, so you're going to throw the dice? Yeah. Well, there we go. There you go. Um, in this case, he resolved the problem, so he oh. doesn't need to destroy two raw materials. And if he has a uh, communication icon on a person, he can play that card to, to use the bonus reward if he wants to. But I don't know if you have it or if you want to. What was again the communication icon, uh, Ruud? The green one. Ah, the, green one. the green speech yep. bubble. Thanks. But you don't have it? No, I don't want to play it. Okay, cool. Then I'll just throw this one at the side. And we are in the last phase of this round, which is which is the longest phase, basically. These are all like short like phases that you go through. But the command phase, you can do a lot of things. You can like move uh, your ship. You can recruit new crew members by building embassies. You can you complete your missions if you have the appropriate uh, resources. You can collect new resources if you have different uh, embassies built around space. And you can spend your resources to buy things or, uh, or build things. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to build because I am at my starting location. And you see on my dashboard, I have a card here which has my planet on there. And if I want to upgrade it to two embassies, I have to pay four raw materials, which I'm going to do. So I am at seven at the moment, so I have to pay four, so I'm going to three. And I will place a new embassy on my planet, which allows me to add this crew member to my crew. But this crew member still needs to be transported from the planet to my ship. So I will place it here next to my dashboard into the transit slot. And at the end of the round, he will he will be part of my crew and will come into uh, I I can take him into my hand. Um, now I don't have a lot of options anymore just to move to this location, but this location doesn't it's not something I can use at the moment I don't have the resources to buy it or anything so what I'm going to do just to show how it works is I'm going to buy an upgrade for you can buy an upgrade for two raw materials if you look at the reference sheet you see like what you can do with all your resources and upgrades are these sort of blueprint type of things that are located to the right of the board and Oh, I haven't. I should have checked before what type of things that are there because they're not very useful. Um, but I'm going for it anyway. I, they're a lot of the same. <laughs> they're four of the same cards, which is a bit strange. So I don't know if that is a glitch in Tabletopia or not. But I'll just take this one, and then I'll replace it with a new one, and. Oh, here's one of those icons you were talking about, Robert. Uh, the communication icon on the new, the new one. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks. And what I can do now is I can just place it on my player board, and now I have this plasma deflector installed. And every time my ship is, or one time that my ship is damaged, I can just throw this card away, discard it, and then prevent that damage. So that is my turn. So, Robert, you can do your stuff if you want. Okay. Uh, so first, indeed, I get my um, I get my resources, right? No, you already oh, got your resources. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. We go to the. We are oh, now yeah, in the command yeah. phase, so you can move and build, and uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. So then I would like to build a embassy as well. Mm -hmm. Let me check. That is. Four of my resources. Yes. So I have seven, so it's three left. At, yep. Oh, yep, and what I, I what I forgot to mention is that yeah. I also every time you build an embassy, you also yeah. you also go up one on the influence track, which is also a sort of resource that you can use for several things. Uh, so that's this one, right? The orange one. The orange one, yeah. So we get that one up. I get my embassy to the field. It go there. Yep. 
There it is. Yeah, and then and I get choose a player, right? A new uh, one. You don't choose. You always take the number two. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, so I can put it in my transit. Yeah. Problem. And now you can choose to uh, if you want to buy some more or if you want to move to another location, because in your next turn, in this case. You, if you want to add tiles, you will only be allowed to put one tile, because you can only place tiles on your uh, next to your current location if there's like an empty spot. Okay, and if I want to travel, because of course my Brown's uh, assignment was I need to tr uh, pay a, a friendly visit, for example, to Sonder or to you. Yeah, is that something I can do now? You can, uh, you can, uh, you can always move one place or one spot, one location. So you could move here, here, or here. Okay. Uh, but you can also, as you can see in the reference sheet, you can also uh, use resources. For example, you can to choose to spend two uh, raw materials, so the gray ones, or mm -hmm. one crystal to do a warp jump, which is basically do one extra move. Ah, uh, yeah. So. I could do that and then visit you here or Sonder here yeah. and I have my first... Uh, exactly, yeah, yeah. So you could like uh, spend a crystal, for example, and then move or to me or to Sonder. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, exactly. It's one crystal or two raw materials, right? That, that, that raw yeah, jump. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's then do... And crystals are mainly used for like special things because uh, I haven't gone through that, but your for example, your captain and other like higher level uh, crew members have like uh -huh. special abilities which you can use uh, for two crystals. Yep. So you can okay. check that on your card on the bottom if you want. Yeah, thanks. And then looking ahead, because I also have, of course, uh, my other assignments. And as you also already said, I have to travel to uh, the, this green uh, planet. And that one is over here. Mm -hmm. So if I would visit you now here in my next turn potentially I could visit that one as well right yeah but it's not it's very cool. useful because okay. you will have to visit them plus you will need to have two robot skilled crew members yeah. and you so need to have like several extra uh, requirements yeah, as well so I still need to correct. yeah yeah you will need yeah. both yeah no correct okay now then I think I will let me check this one this one is more easy so I will visit Sander then by doing the warp jump with one. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, Sander. No, you uh, need uh, uh, one. Uh, 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 yeah. You spend the wrong. You spend the wrong resource, by the way. You spend oh, an influence. Oh, yeah, you need sorry. to spend a crystal. Yeah. A crystal. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That one. No it's good and that we have a lot of questions because then everybody knows how the rules work. So, and then you go yeah. to Sander's location with your ship. This is your ship. Yeah. yeah. And there we go. Cool. And now you have fulfilled the requirements almost for your mission because you're at a, uh, another uh, one of your opponent's starting location. But you will also need to play a robot icon and a officer icon. Yeah. And when you play those, you also you play them from your hand and you also put them in the transit location to show that you have use these people for a mission okay and that is then indeed this one let me check it's indeed a robot and a, yeah yeah that's it's why that we uh, we all start with at least one robot and one officer and yeah. we all have a bit of different skills for example my captain has a pilot and an engineering skill and your pilot has something uh, and your captain has something different so yeah so now you have solved this mission and um, there is no way or a way I know to track like uh, like victory points or expedition points in this case. So yeah. I would look, just advise you to keep this card like close so we know how many points you have. Yeah. And so at the end of the round, you get a new one. Yeah, and in total, so I just have now two points, right? That's how it just works. If this is, I don't know how much. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have two points now, yeah. Yeah, two, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Um, do I get a new uh, card here? At or the end of the round. You know? At the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Then it's my. Uh, that was my turn. Thanks. Sonder, it's you. Yeah, I'm uh, following the great advice of uh, the previous players. I'm gonna upgrade uh, to the second uh, embassy at my home planet. So yeah. That's costing me four raw materials. 
Mm. It's always a good thing to do if if there's no like uh, amazing planets next to your location. It's it's always quite wise to upgrade your home planet as soon as possible because what it does if you build the maximum of three embassies on your location you will receive double the amount of resources of that location and you will also earn one victory point okay so sometimes it's like a trade-off if you want to upgrade it immediately or if you have a planet that looks appealing that you want to colonize that you can go immediately to there but in this case we all have kind of like planets we don't really need <laughs> so uh, so upgrading our home planet is the best course of action i think yeah so i'm gonna keep it boring and uh, remain on my home planet the logic there is i still have two raw materials uh, left next round i'll get another three that will be sufficient to build the third embassy on my home planet. Yes. But also have one crystal. So moving doesn't make too much sense, specifically since I still have a lot of room to add new planets from where I are now. Yeah, so you hope up. because the, the next because also uh, uh, Robert is on your location, so he will probably put like two things down as well. So. Can I read one question? So I'm now indeed at, at Sander's location. So yeah. can I now, if I have my next tiles, do I need to put them around where my ship is or also my home planet? Where, where your ship is. Or oh, where ship is, okay. Yeah. yeah. Your ship explores the galaxy. So yeah. uh, where your ship is, there you place the tiles. Yeah. Okay, was okay. that your turn, Sander? So you're staying yeah, good? Yeah, that's uh, as good as it's going to get. Yeah. I did something I did something dumb in my turn because I stayed put while I would have had mo uh, more results if I went to this location so I could get a resource but I didn't so okay so now we uh, have um, have done everything uh, Sonder did you add an influence yeah I did. and you also have to add your second oh, yeah. crew member right. Uh, and now we are at the end of the round, so everybody takes the crew members that are in transit back into their hand. Okay, yep. so now we all have three crew members because we all did basically the same thing. <laughs> uh, the only thing that Robert did was have a mission. So you can take a random mission from the stack. You can choose which color you want. So okay. here is the are the missions. So you don't have to take a bronze one to replace it. You can also take a silver one or a gold one if you're feeling uh, feeling adventurous. I'm an adventurous. I take the middle one, silver one. Okay. And then you can press F to flip it. Yeah. Because, because missions are always out in the open until we buy a secret mission. Oh. And secret missions you can always buy in your turn for three influence. And okay, that uh, that was it. And now I will give the first player token to Robert, and yeah, okay. you are now the the player who can start with their phase. Um, but first, we go and get our get our resources from our home planets, exactly. which is still I think we need to move the round marker. At, uh, Rich. Yeah, can you do that for me, please? Sure. Sorry. This is something that Sander mentioned. That's true. Uh, the game is goes over like eight rounds. And we are now in the second round of the game. Ah, okay, like that, yeah, yeah. And normally, if you're like around four or something, round four, then you have a lot of things you can do with ships and then uh, and crew members and everything. So, yeah. so there's also uh, a special objective now, right? Uh, that is a um, that is an optional thing you can you can <laughs> add okay. in the game. There's okay. a so we we don't play with that at the moment. It's like an optional like uh, like mini expansion. That every time you, uh, wait, where is the camera? Every time you come up with these types of icons, then there's like an end game objective. But I don't play with these uh, uh, these for the moment. All right. All right. So now we can get uh, grab our resources again. So that is still the same for all of us because we still have the same planet, which is like three raw materials and one crystal. Yep. Three raw materials, six, and one crystal. Yeah, and now we can go to the next phase. 
which was, is the discovery phase. So you can yeah, begin uh, with taking yeah. two tiles, because you, you are allowed to place two tiles. Oh, uh, that's very really unfortunate. Uh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, okay, I need to place them where my ship is, so I could do it like here. And uh, can I also, no, I need to do it down here. Yeah, yeah you can turn them. Right it's here. the last time I invite you to my planet. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was already waiting that comment, sorry, uh, <laughs> Thunder, yeah, that's true. Q was turning, right, yeah, but yeah, it basically doesn't matter, right? It no, because, it either way. because of the... The annoyingness of Table Tokyo, yeah. basically. But anyway, yeah. yeah. It's there now. Okay. Yeah, well. And now it's Saunders' turn, and he can only place one tile now because you played a friendly visit, paid a friendly visit. Yeah. yeah, so you only have one spot you can put this. And I'm sort of in the same boat. But it is a useful planet, at least. Yeah. It is a bit expensive, but. I do need it for a mission, so that's for me. It's quite convenient. Thank you for finding this planet for me. Anyway, uh, what did I find? I found a very expensive planet, another green planet again. So we have two of the same type of planets next to each other, but this one is um, like the highest level, so it's most expensive. It costs eight and two. Okay, and now we are at the sensor phase. So, uh, Robert, you can throw the uh, the two sensor dice and see what you yeah. get. Get my luck. That was R. I think. R, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. This is very I lucky. Have... You can choose which one you use. You can choose to do uh, your number two special ability, which let me see is an economic boost. You receive the resources available at your current location, which oh. is at the moment you are at Saunders location. So you get the resources that are there or you get, well, or you get one raw material. So that's not a very hard choice. That's not a hard choice now. So I will get uh, what's available at Saunders place. So it's three raw material and indeed one. Yeah. That's already the second time that we had a special uh, ability, so... Six goes to nine. Wait, that is nine. Yeah. And then this one goes to three. Yeah. Well, that was a, that was a good sensor phase for yeah. you. Sonder. Sonder, right? Yeah. See so, what you get. How does that work? Do I can can I choose, or do I have to take the event first? Uh, you have to take the event. Uh, Sometimes what what you can do, but you don't have the influence, is that you can um, uh, yeah. re-roll one dice. You, you can try to re-roll the other one, but no, I don't think there's too much. You of just a have point. to take an event. As uh, as this is still a game that is kind of a work in progress, I'm still trying to like see what the what the rules are for this uh at the moment it's just taking an event and uh and that's it must be a good one this time it is actually there we go <laughs> improve your ship under your expert leadership your crew has been able to locate an ancient vault with some useful specifications your engineers are busy working to see how to use this valuable information to upgrade your ship encourage them to work it a, a bit harder you receive an upgrade. Uh, uh, I already see a, a typo button. in my card, so that's a good notification as well. <laughs> Sorry? No, I was just kidding. I, I saw a typo in the card, which I just had to make a note yes. of to fix it. <laughs> Work it. Uh, and as a bonus, um, I can play an officer to get another one, right? Yeah, if you want to, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, well, um, yeah, I don't see why not. So you have to play the officer in the transit slot, and then you uh, can get, get two another. Upgrades. You can get two uh, upgrades. Yeah. Let me have a look. You, uh, you can grab one first, and then you can like um, replenish the store. So you don't have to take two from this stack. 
you understand what I mean? Yeah, I'm good. Um, Let me see what I'm is gonna... in the store. There's a lot of the same parts, but... So the nuts and bolts uh, basically allows me uh, to discard it and to give one of my robot uh, crew members a skill of my choice for this round. Okay. That prevents me from having to pay resources to do it. Yeah. Yeah, because that is something that uh, maybe Robert, you don't uh, uh, maybe not remember anymore. But robots have like a special uh, thing that you can reprogram them to give them an extra skill. Oh yeah, yeah. It's now we're <laughs> yep. yeah. And I'm gonna play it safe by taking uh, one of the plasma deflectors, which oh. basically protects my oh. ship. I can discard it to prevent damage to oh, my space. Oh, I see what happened with the store. What happened? Uh, wait, because of these things. Uh, okay. This is what I was talking about with Tabletopia, that we're still getting used to it. Um, wait. Damn. No, I put these as markers underneath it. But if you flip it, even though it, they are locked, they still flip. So. Let me see how we can fix this. I'm just gonna redo the store a bit. Okay, this is something I have to change in this version of the game as well. Anyway, we're up and running again. What did you get? Oh, you get a plasma deflector as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now I hope I'm just as lucky as you guys because those weren't very nice rolls. I have an encounter as well. It's probably not gonna go bad, go great for me. Something bad happened. You need to be more careful with nameless artifacts. The archaeology team working on them started to mutate into mindless beasts. Destroy one of your upgrades, your choice. Damage your ship if you don't have upgrades. But I do have a chance to fix it if I th throw, if I throw the dice higher than a four, roll the dice higher than a four, which is a six. Yes. So I am quite lucky. I can play an archeologist for the bonus reward, but I don't have one. So, well, nothing really bad happens. Okay. So we're now at the command phase for, uh, for Robert. So you can do uh, like moving and building and and going on missions and stuff. Yes, so first, before I, I think I'm going to build a new uh, embassy, but first, read one question because I was looking through my assignments and they're quite hard, I think. Yeah. Because for this one, for example, I need this space gun one, so which I have, and I need three characters of two characters with a level three, yeah. which I do not have. But I also saw on my card here that I can replace a mission for one. You know, influence, right? Yeah, that's true. Can I do that? You or can, can I only can. do that at the end? Or no, you can do that now. Um, I would not, to be honest, advise uh, you to 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 uh, replace the mi like the new mission you have, because okay. because getting two level threes is just because if you build like three embassies, you already get another one. So it's yeah. not super hard, but it's up to you eventually what you want. Then let's see indeed. But then at least I know. Thanks. And yeah. you also but mentioned that you wanted to uh, build an embassy. Yeah. But you it's can only build an embassy at the location where your spaceship is at. So can build an embassy also on Sanders or SNL? No, you can't. It's busy here. No, <laughs> you cannot build a, an embassy on a location where there's already somebody I present. You need to go there first. Yeah, I know. So you need to go back? Yeah. To upgrade. Yeah. That yeah. is the downside of going further away yeah. and doing missions, and yeah. you have to make like a sort of uh, checks and balances. I can do, of course, a warp jump again to go back. But you can move one. So I can. That's always free. Yeah, and then. Yeah, but I move one, and then I need another one. So I need to do uh, a jump, right? Yeah, but you still have a lot of resources, so. So, I'll do it with the crystal. You had a lucky roll, so. So, then I'm back on my home planet. 
and now I can build my embassy or not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And let's do that. So that took me three, right? Three resources. No, no. You have to check your card. Oh yeah, it was the card. And on your card, you see how much you need to pay. Yeah, one crystal. Yeah. Yeah, five and a crystal. Exactly. And uh, I'm currently at nine. So I'll go to six. No, you go to four. Oh, it's, yeah, okay. It's uh, well, how do you say six? Hmm? Six? What do you mean six? You said six. Or maybe I'm confused now. No, no. I it, if you check your card next to your dashboard, wh where my where my thing is now. Ah, that one. You can see yeah, there's like oh, a yeah, three, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. you pay five and one. Yeah, I was looking wrong. Yeah, I look I looked at the resources of my home planet. Yeah. Thanks. So I get my embassy. Exactly. And then I get my next crew member. Yeah. And you get one influence because you build an embassy. So your okay. influence is you have gained more influence in this part of the galaxy. Nice. Okay, what else could I do? I think that's it for the moment. Okay, Sander. All right. Yeah, I'm also gonna build uh, the third uh, embassy on my home planet. So that's uh, five raw materials and a crystal. I can help you out by placing this thing. Yeah. So you both now have three of them, which means yeah. in the next round you will uh, receive double the amount of resources. Which is going okay. to give you quite an edge. Oh, one minute. So yeah, uh, here's your level three. Oh, it was besides the board. So oh, yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, and then uh, I'm gonna look at what I want to do next. And actually, uh, this purple uh, planet has quite a few of the icons that I need for my. Uh, for my objectives, so there's a navigator and uh, the, the doctor symbol. I'm actually going to move there in anticipation of uh, building an embassy next year with the added benefit that it blocks uh, root from uh, trying to build there. Exactly, it does. But to be fair, I don't have the money to pay for anything. So uh, <laughs> I uh, I only have four resources. So is uh, is that ending your uh, your? No, time? I'm uh, gonna spend three of my influence to buy a secret mission. Okay, cool. And uh, secret missions are missions that you can uh, take in your hand. And well, it's basically what it says. We can't see them, so because they're secret. It's very good, I can tell you. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, that was it? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, there's not much I can do with just four resources. And I won't get double next time like you guys. But I am going to move. I'm going to move to the wormhole with the refueling station next to it. And no, I'm not actually. I am moving to the planet where Sonder is on to at least finish a mission for only one point, one measly point, but it's still a point. I am delivering some crystals to travel to this specific location. So I have finished one mission for one point. Uh, but I do want to get back uh, to the edge of space, so I'm going to pay two crystals and I'm going to do two warp jumps to go oh, not take the complete planet with me to go here and that's it for my turn so everybody who has like crew members in their transit can put them in hand and if and I can grab a new mission and I'm gonna grab the simple one again because I don't have that much resources yet. So, and I have to travel to a water location for one point. 
Okay, so now Sonder is the first player. Yeah. So, uh, oh, what happened? I'm, I clicked on something. <laughs> I'm gonna collect double resources uh, now for my home planet. Yeah, and Robert as well. Yeah. I so I do not, so that's sad for me. So I only get three and one, and you guys get six and two. So, yeah. And now we grab some tiles to discover. Uh, Sonder yeah. can only take one of them. Yeah, indeed. I will already well, get two, one. and Robert can take one. Oh, yeah. that's very annoying there with the asteroid belt. It's almost statistically impossible. This. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this, this one doesn't this really fit, but yeah. Yeah, even not No, flip it. Oh. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't. Uh, wait, wait, stop. Can you use. No. Can you use. I'll, I'll try and fix it. I'm setting the round marker to three, by the way. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's a walking planet. Okay. Oh, now I have a cool planet there. Hmm. Anyway. Does anyone get a space or technology planet yet? No. Uh, okay. This one and this new one. Okay, so um, I we can uh, throw the dice again. You can choose one. Oh. Upgrade or my number one, which is the death ray, I can damage a spaceship. Damage is something we haven't done yet. Damage is uh, a small deck of cards here. And if you choose to do so, you can place that tile on, uh, you can give that tile to one of the play uh, to me or to Robert. And then we have to place it on our ship or on uh, an upgrade we have. In my case, I it would also block my upgrade. And it is something that we have to spend resources on to um, to repair it. Or you yeah. can take an upgrade. Uh, I have plenty of uh, upgrades already. I'm gonna use the death ray. On who? Uh, I'm gonna play it on Robert. Okay. Oh, thank you. And you yeah. can flip it to see what it is. I'll let you do the reveal. Let it is a plasma leak. leak. So at the end of your turn, a random crew member, and I don't know how we can do that in Tabletopia, but we will just say the second or something. Uh, and we will become injured. And injury is uh, something that is a bit similar to placing in transit. Because every every ship also has a sick bay, and in your case, Robert, it's here on the left side, or everybody has that. But and so at the end of your turn or the round, you have to uh, place one of your crew members there, and okay. it will effectively you will lose that crew member for one turn. But we will come around it when uh, we will get there. So okay. And now it's my turn to roll the dice. And I can imagine that Sonder did that because you also already have a lot of resources, so. Exactly. Uh, well, I just get a resource now. Okay. And now you can do it as well, Robert. Yes. Can... Check. You also it's get a resource. And one resource, okay. Yep. And now Sonder can do his command phase. Yeah, so I'm uh, in this purple planet here, where it's uh, cost me six raw materials to build a level one embassy. Oh, that's exactly the number I need. Where does this come from? Yeah, that's one of your... Yeah. So I'm gonna pay those. Okay, I will grab the planet for you. Yes, so please. you don't have to. Uh, that is Aviana Prime, if I am correct. Yeah. Correct. Uh, so you will receive that planet. 
when you build an embassy, you receive an extra influence because you spend, you, you, you increase your influence in this part of the galaxy, and you will receive the associated crew member, which is in this case uh, Apollo, a sort of like weird parrot alien, which has the navigation skill, which you probably need for one of your missions, yes, for your silver mission. Indeed. I already put the cards there, so. Uh. All right. So let and me uh, see. on the on the back of these cards, that is something that I didn't mention yet. If you flip them over, these location cards, you see what type of other crew members are there. So in this case of 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 Aviana Prime, the level two character has uh, two archaeology skills, and the level three has three medical skills and this special skill which is used for a solo mission which i will explain later maybe i will send one of my crew members on a solo mission just to give the example to you yeah and the question is where am i moving to um i could of course move to the planet below just to ha uh, so like for example if uh, if Saunders would stay put in, in this case then he would also at the next round receive the uh, resources at this, at this location so that's in this case for Aviana Prime that's that's three as you see in the bottom and when he moves away he can get, he can collect them later as well so what we will get around to yeah, no, I'm uh, staying put indeed just to have that benefit next round, so yeah. I'm done. So, it, so you won't be able to draw any new uh, location tiles? No. The, okay. Because he has already explored all the space around him. Uh, so that's it? Yep. So I'm going to my command phase now, and I'm going to do, well, basically the same thing that the guys already did, but I'm a bit lagging behind. So I'm going to move back home and I'm going to upgrade my home system as well which is five and I have seven so that is two and one crystal just to have my last crew member which is Mr. Isaac Wells who also has a special ability all your level three characters have a special ability so uh, um, the crew members you just recently got just check them out what type of special abilities they have and next to their special ability it states what it costs to uh, to activate it and just to give you an example how that works I will just activate one of my special abilities I have my my captain she has a special ability that if she goes on a so-called solo mission, I, I send her on a mission by herself. She can place two new location tiles on any empty spot and I can teleport my ship to one of those. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to play her here in the solo mission spot, which effectively work this, works the same as the sick bay. So I will lose her for a turn because she will go on her own uh, little adventure by herself. I have to pay two raw materials to do so and I can get two location tiles and transport my ship to one of them. So hopefully that's something cool. As you can see all of the special abilities are a bit um, attuned to what type of faction you play. Uh, my faction is more inclined to do like exploration things. Sanders faction is more uh, more aggressive so he shoots and he destroys things and Robert's uh, faction is more an economic type of faction that has like benefits with resources and the green player which is not in the game at the moment is more about um, like building embassies anyway I have two cool new locations which I think one is useful for a mission so I'm going to put that close to home and the other one is quite cool as well but it's a bit expensive but I'm just gonna 
prevent any of you from going there fast. So I'm just gonna put it somewhere over here. And my special ability allowed me to uh, teleport to one of those. So my ship will go teleport to this location. And what I forgot to do is add a an embassy and this thing which I already paid for. And okay, so that is my turn. Okay, then I think it's my turn. Yes, it is. So I will travel to this planet, to Bogger, um, and I would like to put an embassy on it. Cool. Shall I get you the planet? Yeah, please. So that yeah. you don't have to, because yeah. I know where they all are. So I'll put Thanks. the planet here, or it's a moon actually, to be very specific, and it'll give you a new crew member which is in this case a combo. He's a swamp shaman and he has a skill of archaeology. Yes, which I will need later. I thought uh, as much. Did you put uh, on a I still need to pay it for... Uh, yeah, you have to pay it and I will put the thing on it for you. So, up to 11. So yeah, and... Uh, yeah. What you can also do in your turn is try to fix your plasma leak if you want to. Oh, that's uh, that was one of my questions. So I can fix it with three of my resources. Yeah, yeah. You can see uh, in the left corner, you can yeah, see how much it costs to repair this plasma leak. That, okay. If that means repair, I will do that indeed. So I don't have to give up one of my crew members. So it's eight minus three. It's five. So, and I can discard this, or how does yeah, it you work? you can discard this, yeah. Just put it to the side somewhere. Yeah, great. Okay. I'll put it here, whatever. Yeah. Okay. At the discard pile. Okay. See anything else? No, so just to be clear indeed, in the next round, I will get double of the resources I'm, uh, where I'm at now, right? It's only... No, basically. you get double the resources from your home planet, and you get oh, yeah, the resources well. from your location where you are now, yeah. which yeah. is because yeah. it's only level two uh, location, okay. it doesn't give you that much. It will give you no. only one raw material. Yeah. And if okay. you build, if you would have built like three embassies on that location, you will also get double as well. Okay. Yeah. Clear. Thanks. Here to help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so was that your turn? Um, yes, yeah, because then if I, I stay here, yeah, I done. can put some tiles in it later. Yeah, I think we're done with this round then. Yeah. So we, okay, and now I will explain a bit how the solo mission thing works, because now I can get this character back, because he was in the transit slot, but my captain, she was going out on about a solo mission. So what happens is at the end of the round, I will place her into this slot. So I will get her back in the next round. So it is a trade-off to use these special abilities and they are very powerful, but you effectively lose your character for for a complete round. Sonna, did you already move the, the, the tracker? Yep, I did. And I gave you a starting player, Mark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, we will get resources. Um, well, and I only get it from my home planet, but both Sonder here, the red player, and the yellow player, Robert, will get also the resources from the location where they are currently located. Yep. So you get some more, especially oh, Sonder. By the, by the way, if we do I also get an on, another influence, it's because I bought that, or I uh, bought that embassy. Or yeah, did you, you do that already? Yeah, you do. You get an influence as well. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, thanks. Wait, so I get six, so I had two, so that is eight. And I get two of these. And that's it for me. And now I can, I'm building quite close to my dashboard here, but I think I'll manage to get two more location tiles. Uh, okay, is that useful? 
yes that is quite useful and this one is not useful at all uh, okay so let me see and now it's robert's turn and you can also get two of them because right, you also yeah. are at the edge of the space uh Sonder has nothing to explore because everything around him is already explored nice and safe nice and it's safe behind the right. asteroid field ironing asteroids okay that's at least something yeah here this one is again uh what is it because i see a, a, a resource uh yeah yeah so that is a uh, like a rogue planetoid uh, type of thing. So if you if you end your turn there, you will yeah. receive a um, a raw material in this case. So uh, for every type, um, for almost every type of resource in the game, you have one of those. You have a rogue planet, which allows you to get a raw material at the end of the uh, of the round. You uh -huh. have a refueling station, which will give you a crystal. And yep. I think there's, a, oh yeah, and here's the ghost chip that will give you a upgrade. Okay. Now then it's me again because Sonder can't do anything at this moment. So I have to throw these dice and hopefully it's something good. It is, I can choose which one I want. Uh, should I take a, mm, I want to buy this one. And it's quite expensive, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a raw material. Okay, now you can throw the dice, uh, Robert. Yeah, wait, yeah. Yeah, uh, playing in real life is much easier. <laughs> oh, again, you what? have a special ability. Oh yeah, nothing or a special ability. Yeah. So, so I think you will choose the special ability. Yeah, of course. <laughs> So then I got like the, um, from my home planet, right? No, no, no. It's no? number two, right? Yeah, it's number two. Yeah, so oh, what it says is yeah. receive the resources available at your current location. So that's not a lot, that's just one. No, it's but too bad. At least it's something. Better than. Okay, let me put one more. Yep. Okay. Sonder is. Let's see what the dice have in store for me. Oh, an event. Another event. Or encounter. Or okay. Something, Something bad, bad happened. You found nameless artifacts in an abandoned space station. Your enthusiasm quickly turns to panic when the artifacts suddenly activate. Destroy one of your upgrades. Your choice. Damage your ship if you don't have upgrades. Well, let's first see. If you can if prevent can it. Prevent it. Let's see if I want to use some crew members. No, don't have those icons, so just need to roll. Oh, you rolled a it one. Up. Okay, so. You can choose to destroy an upgrade. Yeah, I will do that. I'll destroy the plasma deflector. That's what it was intended for in the end. Uh, yeah, it was expanded to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. All I right. Have, I have the same. Prevent damage to a spaceship or remove a damage card. We could also help out uh, uh, Robert, but we didn't. Oh, I can uh, get a bonus reward. No, you can't because you didn't achieve it. Ah, and you I can't get a bonus for failing in this game. No, you don't get a bonus for failing. Also, in real life, you don't get a bonus for failing. <laughs> <laughs> Tough luck. But how did you uh, could help me then, uh, uh, what you said? Well, if you check my dashboard, yeah. Uh, I have uh, an upgrade which says prevent damage to a spaceship or remove a damage card. So I can ah. also choose to do that to somebody else, of course. There are yeah, some you, instances. You help Sonder then, not me. That's what I meant. I'm sorry? You could help Sonder then, basically. No, 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 because you had a damage card previously. Oh, previously. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I could right. have removed yeah. it. And in this case, it's not useful. But there are some instances that it is useful to help somebody else to get something for yourself as well there are some yeah. cards that help that like real politics exactly uh okay i think that is me again for the command phase so what i will do is i'm going to build an embassy on rainbow station which is six 
raw materials, which is quite expensive, but I need it eventually for my mission. So I have nine, so I will still have three left. And I finally have a new embassy location. And I get a new crew member, which is a smuggler. And she has two uh, pirate symbols, which I don't need at the moment, but who knows what I need in the future or what type of anomalies I will encounter. And I get one of these. And what I will also do is I'm going to travel to Muscaria to finish this shipment this cargo run of cetacean oil to send it to the planet so I finish another mission for one point and it's gonna be a bit crowded here at the, you will need a big table if you play this game by the way um, is that it? no I'm also gonna take a page out of Saunders book and uh, buy a secret mission I believe that was a Three influence. Yeah, correct. So I will take a secret mission in my hand, and that is not a terrible secret mission at all. Uh, okay, so uh, Robert, it's you. Yeah. So if I want to travel to this planet, so deck something. Yeah. Can I go via this way or not? Is that fully blocked then? No, no, it's not fully blocked. It's only All blocked right. uh, yep. where the asteroids are. So you can go through here. Yeah, so I will go through there. This is my free jump. And then the other one I do additionally. So it will cost me one of this one. Crystals. You have a lot of crystals. Also yeah. check out your uh, special abilities. I don't know them by heart, but you have some special abilities that you can use as well. Yeah, and I can do my um, one of my um, silver uh, assignments. Okay. Because I need two archaeologists ah, and okay. one, and I have those. Okay. So there's this one. Oh so wait, I will put it yeah. there. Here, and I have one archaeologist and the second one. So then I can play. Yeah, nice. This one. It's three points, so I'll put it next to this one. Yeah, well done. Um, okay, let me see what else. So if I would finish now, I can always put one tile here still in the next round. And I can build an embassy basically if I want to. If you want to, yeah, of course. You, yeah, you, yeah. If, if the planet is not occupied yet, you can uh, always build an embassy there. Then I will do that. It costs me three resources, which I have a lot. So I'm currently at 13, so that will give me 10 over. Okay. Let me my embassy. Oh, shall I get you the planet? Um, oh yeah, and the planet. Yeah. It is not a very great planet, but still, it is a planet. Okay. Yeah, and I. You also get an. Um, or not those symbols were on the on the planet. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Sorry, yeah, if it's the crew members. Sorry. Oh, the crew members. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I gave you a crew member. Ah, oh, there it is. Sorry, I didn't saw that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, thanks. She yeah. is a she is a jungle scout. Yeah. And uh, you also get an influence. Oh yeah. That'd be you can spend the influence as well to do several things like changing your missions or uh, getting secret missions or re-roll sensor dice. I'll first get a new assignment because I need to do that anyway. Uh, no. Huh? No, just at the end of the... Oh, at the end of the game, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And I, it's at the end of the game because maybe then Sonder wants to buy a thing. So at the end of the round, you get new ones. But yeah. you can buy a secret mission if you want. Yeah, let's do that. I have so many, indeed, uh, influences. Yeah, you have a lot of influence at the moment, so... 
So Lazura takes me three, so two left. And where do I get the secret mission? Those Anything? are just the normal missions, and you can choose which color, and you can just put them in your hand. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. And then oh. we don't see them. Yeah. Mm, that's I'll not your hand. No, no, I will take it. <laughs> Why doesn't it work? Wait. Yeah, now it works. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And that's it for my part. All right. Then it's uh, up to me. I'm gonna build a level two embassy on my planet here. That's gonna cost me seven raw materials. Yeah, that's something that is here on the card. I'm sometimes just zooming in to uh, show a bit how it works. Gain an influence. And gain uh, the crew member. Did you get that already somewhere? Around? Oh, sorry, I, I will grab him for you. Yeah, thanks. It's this one. It's this. Crow Mage, uh, mm -hmm. which has two engineering skill. Let me see what we want to do here. I have a very expensive planet next to me. Which yeah, costs it becomes more and more expensive. Yeah, but I'm a bit stuck in this corner of the world. And then again, I do want to build a level 3 planet here next turn. Oh, you can or a level 3 embassy, I mean. But you can still pick up resources later, so it's not like you can only get resources during the production phase. If you, for example, I'm just going to move your guy a bit. If you, for example, yeah. the next turn you are here, and yeah. then in your command phase you move here, then you can pick up the resources that are there. Yeah, so that's true. That is still a possibility. Mm. Yeah, however, there's not really a good location to go to. Where are... Oh, oh, something moved. Wait. Or I forgot to build an embassy here, I think. Yeah, no, I'm uh, just going to stay put here. Yeah? You're not going to yeah, be adventurous? I, no, it's, uh, I'm a bit uh, of a more of a loner here. I'm going <laughs> to stay. I'm going to pay three influence though for another secret mission. Yeah, I thought so. And this time I'm going to go for a difficult one. Okay, um, then if that's your turn, then we go to round five. And before we go to round five, all the uh, crew members in transit go back into our hands. Yep. And both me, me first, and then Robert can um, get a new mission. So I think I'm going to take a silver one. It's me too. Oh, which is not bad, which is not bad. Oh, which is actually quite great. And then we can all grab our... I'm going to just move my missions a bit here because the planets are getting really close to my dashboard here. Okay, so we're gonna grab resources and then um, continue exploring. So I get six and two. I get six and two from those. And I think you as well, Robert, and or not? Oh no. No, you don't. You can six and two, and one of those from the location that you're at. Yeah. So you don't get anything from uh, this location. No. Okay. Then you can uh, explore space, but you can only take one tile in your situation. So. Shall I take one? Yeah, I, I think yeah. Sander has his resources. So. Yeah, I did. A wormhole Just again. Wormhole again. Well, it's close to your home space, so that's nice. And now Sonder, oh, Sonder doesn't have any. No. He's not very, uh, he's not a brave explorer like Robert and me. 
No, such a shame. But I'm staying at home. Ooh, a very expensive one again. Why do I have all the expensive ones around me? It's ridiculous. But I do kind of want... Oh. Did anyone get a fire planet yet? My own planet is a fire planet. Yeah, that is not very... Oh, I have to travel to it, so it's not that bad, actually. Um, but I don't have the... Well, and a wormhole. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's it for me. So, um, you can throw the dice, uh, Robert. Yep. See what's going to happen. Ah, oh. look, you have two of them. So what you can do is yeah. uh, you can take two. Uh -huh. And you can choose which one you want to encounter. Lucky. Yeah, it depends. So, yeah. So. So you take two encounter cards. I'll grab them for you. Yeah. Thanks. And uh, I will show them. You have something bad happens. You have something don't. bad happens. So your ship gets damaged unless you have specific crew members. Yeah. And you have. A scientist you rescued that might be a little bit crazy. He created a bioweapon and he wants to use it on your opponents. Uh, opponents? Oh. Yeah. So which one are you going to keep and which one are you going to throw away? <laughs> yeah, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll throw this one in the discard pile and... So you will get the crazy scientist. Choose one of your opponents, randomly select a crew member to be injured. And if you have one of those icons at the bottom, which is a psychic, you can look at the target's crew members and choose which one will be injured. But I don't think you have one of those. No, I can't. So, but let me first choose my opponents. So, Rit, I will choose you then. Okay, and then, because random selection, I'm not sure how to do that in Tabletopia. So okay. I have one, two, three, four, five crew members. So just say a number and I'll give you the... I uh, three. Three. So Isaac is injured. Oh. Uh, we'll put him in sick bay. So I will effectively don't have him for, uh, no. well, in this case, two rounds because it's, I will not be able to use him. Okay, okay. Sander. Oh, well. Yeah. You can throw the dice. Let's see. Oh. Well, I've got plenty of crystals already. Well, probably an upgrade makes more sense. Yeah, maybe use some, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of crystals there. Mm, well, I'm gonna go for the dimension folder. Okay, and I will replenish the shop. Okay, cool. And then it is my turn to roll. Let it roll. And, oh, I have both of my special abilities selected. Um, so I can or do two free warp jumps this turn. I don't have to do that immediately, but just in my turn. And I have can ignore damage and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Or I can place two, no, two new locations again, and I receive resources for each recruiting location revealed. I think I'm gonna do that again. See what I get. A lot of stuff again. Again, no fire planet. Um, okay. Where am I gonna put these? Oh, not the camera, but... Uh, do I need any of these? Oh, I kinda need this one. Does anyone need uh, this location to be close to them? No. No, not really. I'm gonna put it... I also don't really need it, to be honest. Let's put it here. 
nice and uh, reachable. Yeah, well, there's a there's a wormhole next to it. Indeed. Um, okay, then it's your command phase, uh, Robert. Okay, uh, let me see. Just uh, just like a heads up uh, to you guys, if you feel like quitting or need to, ha I don't know how early your mornings are tomorrow, but uh, we've been playing now for a little under one and a half hours, so not that bad. So I think if we play for like maybe 30, maybe 40 minutes, we will uh, finish the game. So I don't know what, what you want. I'm fine with that. Try to finish it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Let me see what I can do. Um, I could go to this one. Do I need to? Uh, Yeah, I will travel to this one. Can use the resources, but let me check. Yeah, I have those. Yep. Travel to that one. Then I will build another embassy on that one. That's nice. It cost me seven and one. Let me check. Currently at. 17, so that goes to 10. You have a lot of resources. <laughs> yeah. Now, it is also something that uh, your special abilities are aimed for, to get a little bit more resources. There's my embassy. Oh, I did something with the camera. Ruud, a question on the placement of the icons on the planets. Are they in the order of uh, basically the level of the crew members? Um, in what way? So the top one is a level one, then the one below is level two, and the one below that is level three? To be honest, I have to check. Uh, no, it goes um, uh, like the. If I, I'm just going to zoom into the uh, location where you are now at Aviana yeah, Prime. Sure. This yeah. is the first one, and then the second, and then the third. So the first one is in the uh, navigation, the second one is uh, this one, and the third one is that one. But you can always check it on the back of a location card. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And Got you it. can just grab them if you, if you, even if you don't have anything, you can just check it here on the left to, to see on another planet. You can always check that. So it's not like, it's uh, it's secret information or anything. Got it. Robert, what are you doing? Yeah. Can you give me the planet and the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can also get it yourself. But I will do it for you. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We get used to it. So then we get yeah, lazy, yeah, yeah, you know? That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, and to be honest, in real life, it's, uh, it's much easier. So you guys yeah. have to come over soon to... Uh, to so play my first prototypes. Pizza. We can also drink yeah. a beer and stuff. That's nice. <clears throat> so you also added influence to your track? Good point. No, I did not yet. Oh, there it is. Let me check. No. Can I build another embassy if I want to or not? If you have the resources, yeah, of course. But uh, uh, yeah, no, never mind. You can do everything in one turn as long as you have the resources or the abilities to do so. Okay, that's good to know. So that's why at the end of the game, you can this um, this command phase, you can do a lot more. In the beginning, you maybe can only move and buy something, and eventually you will be able to do a lot of things. Yeah. So it's more of like um, the game results in sort of like a space race at the end. The beginning it's like a building up phase and i think we are now approaching the more direction of um getting our missions done and seeing our fruits of labor paying off hopefully yeah. small catch here Ruth. i now understand where my confusion is coming from one of the icons on the avina prime planet doesn't match the actual character there's a cogwheel there which should be uh archaeology sign 
Are you sure? Oh yeah, the, the level two character has two. Oh wait, no. Then it's the card that is incorrect. The card actually says on the back two archaeologies, and that should be two cogwheels. Ah, okay, cool. I'll just uh, make a note of that as well. Yeah. It's a bit annoying that I just ordered two new uh, prototypes, like physical prototypes, but. <laughs> Better to catch it now at least than uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know when you order to one hundred, so exactly. <clears throat> okay, uh whose turn is it? Uh, oh, yeah, I just I'm done, so Okay. Alright, and uh, it's my go. I'm gonna build uh, the level three um embassy here. So that's seven raw materials and a crystal. Gonna check out what you're doing. Okay, yeah. I will grab you the character, the last one. Yeah, thanks. Which is Noxie, who is like a who has like a lot of medical skills and can prevent a encounter if you send him on a solo mission. Not bad. <clears throat> mm. Now, let's see where we're going. Mm. Yeah, that's a good question. So something that... I think I'm gonna basically go for a mission. Which one? Uh, secret one. Ah, okay. Then the, I can't see it, so. No, I'm gonna <laughs> show you. Um, it's this one. Yeah. So two cogwheels. So yeah, two engineers I mean, and a pilot. So um, this is to two cogwheels to do a space race, apparently. Yeah, and then um, I'm playing a robot. Which I can basically reprogram for what is it? Two? Yeah, two crystals. Um, yeah. I will show the reference card. Um, for two crystals, Sonder just reprogrammed a robot because he has the two engineering skills, but he does not have the pilot skill. So, what he did is that he uses this robot because he has this icon to reprogram it to teach it like an, an extra skill for this turn and he solved this mission by doing so i will put Indeed. it a bit to the side here so you don't yeah sure it's not interfering mm -hmm. with your solo missions can you reprogram a robot and anything basically yeah all the yeah, yeah. okay you can give him uh, or it's basically because it probably doesn't have gender uh you can give it like a um an extra skill basically for one turn and also the same skill he already has like he has a double then or is that not possible no no you give him an other skill yeah an extra like other skill yeah <clears throat> um let's see anything else we can do i'm gonna send my captain on a solo mission Mm. No, it's sick pay. Well, oh yeah, sorry. Well, spend two, and I spend two to steal two resources from a spaceship. Oh, who has the most? Yeah, who I think uh, Sonder of oh, Sonder Robert spend a lot of them. No, he still seems like he's uh, quite high. He's at ten. Well, I'll take two from him. Okay. Of course. You're welcome. So yeah. he goes to eight. Yeah. And no, you want to. Want to. Yeah. That yeah. is the sort of like player that the red player is. Is more a uh, little Very bit of an ag aggressive player and a pirate. But now Sonder will probably has to like do it out this character for uh, uh, for a round the next round. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, 
I will. Yeah, doesn't really make much sense to you move can again. Still so. move, but. No, yeah, no point. No, I'll stay put. Uh, you're just gonna get more resources and more resources and more resources. Okay, um, I can still move, and that is what I'm going to do. And since I haven't picked up the resources at Rainbow Station yet, I can do that now. So I get three more. One, two, three. So I'm at 12. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to upgrade my embassy there, which is going to cost me a lot, seven. But I have 12, so it's fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I still have five. And I get the second crew member, um, which is this guy, a cool bartender. Get an extra influence and build an extra embassy here. And now I have to see what I'm going to do, because I'm not really sure. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do something, I think I'm going to buy, uh, uh, because he's in sick bay, that's a little bit annoying. Because I wanted to use the special skill of that crew member to get two no, no, but I can't. That's that's annoying. Um, well, at least I'm going to buy one. I'm going to buy one upgrade. I'm going to buy a robot upgrade. And this is an upgrade that has like... Oh, what happened? This is an upgrade that has a skill icon, so that means that I'll permanently add that skill to my to my crew. So there are like uh, two different types of upgrades that I both have now. This is uh, like a temporary one, and this is a permanent one, and you can discard it to do like an extra uh, ability. I don't know what types of upgrades you have. Uh, Sondra has both like... Uh, non-permanent ones so mm -hmm. and uh, what more can i do can't really do much else i think can i do a mission no can't really do a mission either um wait how much do i need if i seven and one oh, that's doable um yeah i'm going to buy another upgrade and i'm going to buy that other robot i just saw because i have a mission that needs a lot of robots and i'll replenish the store and i think oh, i think that's it for me Oh, and again, the robot, a new robot in the... Is that only robots in it or whatever? Oh, that's just coincidence. All right. Uh, that's it for me. So, um, all crew members that are in transit go back into our hands again. And uh, the crew members in solo missions and in sick bay go to transit. So we get them back next round, Sonder. Yeah. And Moving now through. you are the first player. So you are the first to start to collect <coughs> resources. So we collect resources again. Right. And did you nice. change the round track? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Great. Nice. Bonanza here. Well, I get. Yeah, you get 12, a lot. 12 raw materials. Yeah. And two crystals. I get nine and two crystals. You okay. see it, we, we're going towards the sort of end game ish, maybe. <clears throat> the seventh round, right? Uh, no, the sixth. Okay. 
So after, so we have this round and then two more, and then the space gate is closing again. So we need to get out of here. All right, Hoot, you can uh, take a towel. Oh, because you're still at home. Yeah. Oh, so nice to be at home. Yeah, you have a nice place. So. Oh, finally a fire location. I have a fire one as well now. Yeah, of course. They're all at the ba at the end. Oh, and you somehow flipped it weirdly again. Just yeah, I managed that. Just huh? I I can do that. I don't know how. No, throw That's it back uh, when you throw it back on the on the pile. Yeah, like a frisbee. And then take it again. No, it did it again. I I don't do anything. So okay, it's so, like uh, let me try. Maybe I don't know what happened. Sometimes it's it has something to do with the camera angle or something. I have no idea. Maybe how you uh, positioned indeed the the angle of the camera that yeah. could be. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's it. Solder. Okay. Throw the dice. Another event. Okay. Encounter. See what's happening there. Oh, something bad ha happened, of course. Of you course. encounter a debris field from a recent space battle. Some of the torpedoes floating around are still active. It will take a lot of skill to fly through this area unarmed. One of your crew members is injured. Play these crew members to prevent injury. No, you're gonna do that. Um, let me see. I'm gonna injure. Yeah. So injury is uh, is random selection. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you name, you name a number then. So you have six cars. Yeah, correct. Or five because. Oh you wait, have so five. Yeah, one is the secret mission. Uh, yeah. I'll just do number two. All right, number two it is. Now, normally, random selection is a bit easier just to grab something from somebody's hand, but... Okay. Yeah, exactly. uh, oh, now it's me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Again, I don't think the rolling in this program is very random, because... Don't complain. No, I'm not complaining at all, because this is very good. Uh, free warp jumps or again two new locations now the, the new locations because I get resources if I have oh I, I think I forgot to do that in the recent one but at least I get one resource from Gagarengrad and this is I'm just gonna put it here at the edge of lost space near Saunders house um, I'm not gonna give this to, to Robert either and I take one raw material for that. Okay, over to you. My turn. Let me check. Oh, what happened? What did you get? A uh, resource, I think. Let yep. me check. Yeah. Or a uh, crystal. Crystal. Uh, oh. Resource. You also have a lot of crystals. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, Sander, it's you. You have yeah. a lot, you have a lot of money as well. Yeah, indeed. Time to spend some. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm gonna use my to travel to a location, the dimension folder. Okay, so it's like an unstable wormhole. So a one-time use wormhole. Yeah, and I'm actually moving. Over here. Where are you going? Here. Nice little planet. Uh, no, it's a nice little planet. That's why I put it there. Yeah, of course. I want have planet. <laughs> gonna pay eight uh, raw materials and two crystals to build an embassy there. This is basically the kind of one of the best planets in the in the game. I wanted to go there. Yeah. We all too late. Would. Yep, too late. Too little, too late. Yeah. Exactly. Gain an influence. And you get a crew member, which is 
highly skilled because he oh, has or it has because it's a robot it has a three pilot skill and it has like a robot skill as well not bad you took an influence i did indeed um i think that uh, also basically fixes my bronze objective yes it does yeah it does immediately Um, then I'm gonna do my normal move, moving here. I'm gonna build an embassy there as well. Plus six. No, I needed that one. You can still trade crew members, maybe. <laughs> That is a possibility in the game, but it's still something that I'm working on a bit. So. Yeah. Let's see what we're gonna do. Oh, and then, right there. for my last action, I'm gonna solve my silver achievement. Mm -hmm. So I need two medics, which I will use this person for. We need one navigator, which this guy brings. Yes, he does. I think not that's uh, almost good enough, and I'll take another secret objective. That's not a bad round. No, I think so. I'm gonna take uh, Okay. Was that it? Yeah. I thought it was quite enough, actually. But uh, <laughs> I am uh, where I am, I, where I want to be, actually. So I'm going to upgrade this embassy for seven uh, raw materials and one crystal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have four left. And the crystal. And that will give me a point at the end of the game. Come on. And the last crew member of that location. Which is also not bad. He has two soldier icons, a robot icon, and he has a special ability to prevent the loss of resources. And I get an influence. Which now I also have three of. And I think that will do my gold mission because I need to build three embassies on a space or on a tech location which I've done and I need three robots I have two already on my upgrades and I have one little robot here who started the journey with me so I have done this mission for five points nice um, let me check this planet. I want to have that planet. I want to know who lives there. Yes, that is very convenient. Um, uh, what is my secret mission? Okay, I will. I want to move. I'm going to move to this location to at least block it from. It. Every, from Sander's little greedy hands. <laughs> hey, hey. Now, again, now you block again my next target. Yeah, that's my target <laughs> as well. Yeah. Oh. Space space is dangerous. Unforgiving. Let me see if I want to buy something else that is in the store that is useful. No, it's not useful at all. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you, Ruth, for your last step. I know. Um, I will build then my second embassy on Agartia. Yes, I will give you the appropriate eight and one. So let me check. One, six, 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 six,
seven pins. Oh, I could you I could really use that crew member as well. Yeah, one plus one. This okay. How many points does everybody have at the moment? Check. Top five in total, yeah, five. Also counting your uh your planets, right? Or not? Oh no, then I'm done. How many planets? For each planet you get a point? No, no, for each uh, fully upgraded location. So yeah, you I've have one. And so I have one, then I have points. I've got ten. Ten, and you have six. I have... Ooh, I have nine. Somewhere. Ooh, close call. Ah, we're not done yet. Indeed. I am seeing there. If my mouse allows it. <laughs> <laughs> I already gave you the crew member, by the way. Yeah, I saw it. Okay, oh, that's one. What? I I'm, still missing a... Wait, uh, I'm still missing a planet. Which one? Uh, I think the last one I bought. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I can't keep it up. I can't keep it up. Muscaria. Um, can I buy uh, this special ability here? Wait, what are you talking about? This, uh, yeah, of course you I can buy them for two, for two raw materials. You can buy upgrades. I will do that now as well. So I go to seven. I buy that robot thingy. Yeah. And I'll put a new one. So here we are. So I have a robot item. There's a medic now in the store. I did forget to buy a secret mission. It's a bit annoying. Let me check what I need. That's that location. I thought it is this. Yeah. I'm just gonna show you. Uh, then I will as well travel to this one. And you haven't traveled yet, right? No. Oh, so this is one. So that one is for free. Yeah. So you get a raw material because you haven't been there before. Ah. Okay. Because you uh, didn't collect it at the beginning, you sh so oh. now you pick up the resources at that location. So that's one. Great. And then let me check. The um, wait. That shield item. Oh no, the sh this one, the blue one with the. I don't know what you're pointing at. Sorry. No. The blue one with the white star on it. What was that again? Sorry. That's, that's an right. officer. But that's just yeah. a skill. That's one of you. That's just a skill of your crew members. Yeah, I know. I want to have. See if we can get another one. Yeah, but you can also reprogram robots. Because you, you have a robot. You just bought one. Yeah, I know. But I need to have two robots as well. So I need my robot already. No, but you can also keep oh, yeah, the yeah, robot. Yeah, you're right. I asked that already. Oh, we'll do that. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. That you don't use your, but your robot is in a different mission. So, do you want to do two missions at once? What do you mean? Uh, because you said you also need your robot, but your robot just yeah. really, so I didn't really understand the question. No, I want to accomplish one of my silver assignments. Yeah, on the table. And that, hmm? Uh, 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 which are on the I table, you mean? The evade surveillance. Yeah, evade surveillance, yeah. But yeah. you don't need robots for those. Oh, these items are no robots, shit, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Totally. Yeah. So you need I'm to travel to a specific off. location and then do your yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. stuff. Okay, never mind. You. But you can travel to that location if you want. Because it's only yeah. two steps away. Yeah, I know, but then doesn't add that much value. But what I can do is I can build another uh, embassy here. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I will do that. So check that costs me four raw material. So that is goes to four. So get another embassy. There it is. Yeah, it's very fiddly somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> With this. 
Okay, I will grab you the uh, the character that's. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Is he has one skill of the. Um, yeah. He has. He's an officer as well. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, well, Sonder was the first player in this round, so we can all get new missions if we need to and get our crew members back. Or the guy from Sigbay goes back uh, to. Um, yeah, transit. she goes to transit. Yeah. Yeah, because you uh, lost her for uh, a round. Uh, can you move the round marker for me as well? Sure. So we're... Ten ultimate rounds. Yes. And oh. because you started first, you can choose your missions first. And then I can I do it. I will take a bronze one and a silver one. I am tempted to take a gold one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm, am I going to chance taking a gold one? At the, um, how close are you with your gold one? I can't really tell. Uh, I'm going to take a chance and take a gold one. And be an idiot. Ugh. Okay, that's terrible. <laughs> I have to build... At least you lived a little. I have to build, yeah, exactly. I have to build three embassies on a water or a forest location. And I have to have specific skills that uh, both of them I don't have. All of them <laughs> I don't have. And I think all the water and plant locations or are, are already colonized or are very expensive. Yeah, okay, great idea. Question uh, for uh, these expensive gold missions who have a limit of crew mem uh, skill of crew members. Can you just dump uh, members in there who don't add anything to the icons to get to the level? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what it. Uh, the, uh, that was it. There for that you have to play like extra crew members. Sure. But they don't need to have that level. They just add towards the success of the mission, basically. Yeah. Okay. We uh, can grab our um, resources. I only get six because I'm not at this, this location yet. Um, six, seven, two, ten, and two. Nine and two. Okay, I have a lot of crystals, so. Um, and I can't take any tiles. Uh, Robert also can't take any tiles, and Sandra oh. can take one. Yeah. Just so, should I grab it because it's just the only no, thing? No, 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 man, it's been ages since I did. Okay, sorry, sorry, I don't want to take away from your exploratory spirit. Ooh, and it's a wormhole. Of course it is. Yeah, it's the edge of space. <laughs> so, it feels like it. Okay, now that was it um, for that. So, roll I will in, throw roll in, roll in. I roll the dice. Okay, so I have again the warp boost, or I can grab an upgrade. Uh, I think I'll grab an upgrade. Um, what what are those things? Discard uh, another robot. Move two extra tiles. Prevent an injury. Prevent a spaceship from moving this turn. Okay, that's interesting. Am I going to try to be annoying or do my own missions? It's difficult. I think I'm gonna grab a robot again. Who with your robot? Yeah, I'm just sort of like Optimus Prime here with all my transformers. They're very useful. You can also discard them to give a crew member is skill of your choice. Um, yeah. Robert, you can throw the dice. Uh, yep. Uh, 
What did you get? Crystal on assignment or special? Uh... No, I need not or you just have to do an encounter. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's not a choice, unfortunately. Bad. I'll it, grab I... one. Yep. What does it say? Repair drone. Small oh, little house. Your sensors detect a small repair drone in orbit around a lifeless planet. You transport the drone to your ship. It might be useful in the future. You can keep this card in your hand, and you can just use it to uh, repair your ship if it needs if it's if it's damaged, or you can discard it to get two resources. Okay. Well, and, I will keep it. and as a bonus, if you if you use it, then and you have a scientist, then you can uh, get an extra resource. So you just take it in your hand, yeah, and it's just an extra thing you can uh, use. It's yeah, and then oh, yeah, Sander, did you already throw? No. Great, an exciting one. Another. You get an upgrade. Well, uh, it's better than an uh, encounter. Yeah, that's true. Well, it depends on the encounter. That's true. It can be very helpful. It's really something that's very useful for me. Um, also, not the communication one? The communication one? Yeah, that one. You get an upgrade, so, and you need three communications for your gold mission. Yeah, that's true. Pulling, if anything, that's the best one. No, I don't know. I was just, yeah. I don't know what you have in your hand, obviously. So, maybe you already have a lot of communicative uh, people. Not quite. All right. Yeah, was that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, now I have to. Uh, wait. What was I doing again? Um. I do want this planet. Uh, what does it cost? Eight and two. Oh my God. Uh, so I have two left. And five of these, but I do get a cool planet. And a guy I need for my mission. And I annoyed Robert a bit, I think. Right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. yep. Very but silent. I'm getting used to it. Very silently sitting. Like, yeah, frustrating. I don't like this game anymore. Why do you force me to play this? Uh, okay. Then I am moving towards this planet and collect the resources there, which is six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I am at eight again. Um. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah. Am I still able to do this? I don't think so. I don't think I am. How many rounds? This is the last. Uh, we have only have one round after this. So yeah. I won't be able to do my gold mission, I guess. Or is there? Oh, wait. There's a cheap one over here. Hmm. How much? That is maybe something I can still do. Um. No, but I also I also have to have the skills. No, it's not something I'm going to do. I am going to do the following. I'm going to do this mission here. Nav navigate the minefield, which is I need two level three characters and one navigation. So, oh, wait, sorry, uh, no, it's fine. 
Um, okay, yeah. So, two level three characters. So, this is one. This is another one. And this is a navigation character. So, I have solved the mission to navigate through a minefield for three points. Nice. Um, and now I'm in a bit of a pickle. Am I going to try to? No, this is useless. I am going to buy a secret mission. And I think that is going to be it for my turn. Silver one, not bad. Uh, oh. Let me see if I want to do something else. Can I send somebody on a mission? No, that's not a good idea. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, it is the end of the, the game. What am I gonna do with crystals? I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, it's fine. This is it for me. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, I think I'm not gonna beat you anymore, at least. But let me see. Um, I'm going to build my turret embassy here. Okay. On, so that takes me five, I thought. Yes, five. So that is nine left. Then we have a third one there, so that's at least one point. Yeah, and I g already gave you the uh, corresponding crew member. Yeah, but I can't use them anymore, right? The next round, this is the seventh round, so we still oh, have one complete round after this. Well, uh, oh, that's not what I want. Here I'm going to build the third one as well. So that will take me eight. Yep, and two. So it's one left. Oh, your, your ship fell over. Yeah, uh, my uh, ship oh. crashed. No, I put it down. It's, uh, it's okay. And then let me take the embassy. So that's that. Then maybe let's see if I can do with something, some abilities. Oh, that will cost me two, right? Two uh, or crystal or resources. Oh, my cursor is not mo working anymore. Sorry. No, <laughs> my. Suddenly my cursor is not moving. I can't uh, change the table uh, camera angle anymore. It's annoying. Wait, let me see if I can. Yeah, I fixed it. Okay. okay. Don't know what happened there. So sorry, what were you doing? Uh, a special, uh, these special uh, abilities, but uh, those cost two resources, right? Which special abilities? Sorry, these the way the light blue tiles at the, the left. Upgrades. So you're right. I yeah, think, yeah, you have to uh, uh, buy these for two uh, uh, raw materials, the gray ones. Yeah, but I don't have those anymore, so I need to that one. But I had that other one, that repair drone. Yeah, and you can you can discard the repair drone to get two resources. Exactly, that's what I. So exactly. you can throw. You have to throw that one away, and then you can yeah. exchange it for an upgrade. Yeah. No. No. We had so much space over here, and somehow we oh. built completely the other way. <laughs> Let me see. I'm blaming I... the asteroid belt. Yeah, it's, that's true. And your reluctance to explore. 
<laughs> this one is. Oh, but I also will get. Um, did I get like the the um, the crew from this planet, the turret already? Uh, Wh which one? No, 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 you didn't. Okay. Just for my. Uh, then this this was it. But then the next round, I think I have some. Uh, did you uh, did you buy an upgrade or you didn't? No, I didn't. It's not really useful. Okay. The ones which are available. Yeah, okay. the availability won't change. So unfortunately, no, <laughs> if you don't buy any, then it doesn't change. No. Okay, Sander. Yes. Um, I'll start by doing a mission. Um, so secret one again. So travel to a water location. That's where I'm at. Then I need uh, two navigators. And this is one. Mm -hmm. and two. And the other one, yeah. yeah. Two speech bubbles. Mm, that's the more challenging part. No, you have one already. Yeah, that's only one. Can use once I'm going to do a robot for the second. Mm -hmm. and it, was, it, was not a, it was not a terrible tip for me to. Uh, oh, indeed. So. Okay, so two crystals to change a robot. Yeah. I'll yeah. put them in the transit for you. Yeah, finish that one. That's three points or two points? That is four. four. And then while we're at it, mm, if a requirement is three level one character for something, is it possible to do a higher one? No. No, oh, then I want to reverse a little bit. Uh, then I'm not going to spend my uh, one level one, but I'm no, instead it's very, I'm yeah. it's very specific at level one because it's also about like the lower decks of your okay. ship. Like the in that case, I'm going to discard my nuts and bolts instead. For what? Uh, to get uh, the robot, and then I'm not using my level one guy here, which I used the robot off. Uh, but you already used the robot to reprogram it. You reprogram. Uh, yeah, you I know, but uh, instead of using the character, I'm going to uh, discard the nuts and bolt because I need the character from another mission. Which character? I'm confused. Can you do it like over again? Because now. Oh, I'm wait. Um, let me see if this works out, actually. No, I think. To... No, it's not going to work either way. No, I ignore. Yeah, because you do have to give a robot a skill of your choice, so you needed to use the robot anyway. So yeah, know. exactly. No, then, then that's uh, pointless. Oh, you don't have an you you wanted to have like an extra level one crew member or something. Yeah, indeed. I need. Um, thinking if there's a way to do this differently or not. Now it becomes a puzzle at the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> ignore. Um, ten, 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 Wait, let's see how many this was done with 12. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, your here? sound is uh, cutting off a bit. I'm going to build another embassy here. On Muscaria? Yeah. Okay, I will already give you the next weird mushroom guy. Uh, this is for seven. And then I have five left. Then I'm going to do my move back here. Crashing. I think you can flip <laughs> it. Wait, I'll I'm flaming that. Oh. Um, now I collect the resources that are here. <laughs> I can't get your spaceship upright. <laughs> I have the same problem. Three 
Okay, one. Okay, it's fine like this. You just. So, and then I'm gonna build another embassy there as well. Okay. And it's, um, <laughs> you get. Uh, no, you don't get this one. Why is she here? It's just flipped around. You get the level two, see. right? Yeah. Uh, wait, let me see. Hmm. You still have the resources for it? Mm, just checking. I did the math before. Um, you need nine and two. Yeah, now then it's probably not going to work out. Oh, because you have mm. eight. Yeah. Oh. No way to trade anything, right? Um, well, there is trading in the game with like other players and uh, that is something that I knew I have like recently added to the game. So I didn't really explain it because it didn't really come up. Uh, but in this case, you can trade with Robert, but I'm not sure at this state of the game, he would be very <laughs> willing to do so. Uh, if you are at the same location or at an adjacent location with a player, you can uh, you can trade. You can even trade like crew members if you want. You can trade everything if you want. But it is I don't know. It depends on what if Robert wants to trade with you. But no, let me think. Um, I think there's another way. Uh, he one also one. doesn't have a lot of. Res he has only one resource. So yeah, I only need the one though. Um, so this one is still not actually here, right? No. No, I'm actually going to do it the other way. Then I'm not building my second one here. I'm actually going to do it there. Oh. Really? Oh, okay. That's more useful for me. And is that um, one more expensive or less expensive? Probably less expensive. This was nine versus uh, seven, so two more expensive. Okay. Then back in the six. Okay. I might still do gain on influence. Um. I am yeah. uh, fully trusting that everything you're doing is correct. I <laughs> I, I can't yeah, lost getting, it. Uh, <laughs> to be honest. Jump, but uh, yeah, I think this is. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, well, that makes sense because I would be one short now to build the embassy in the other location. So yeah. I think yeah. This and you have to, did you also pay the two crystals for the the upgrade for this one sorry for i don't know i haven't done that yet that's two yeah you also have to pay two crystals in the, yeah. for the more expensive um planet you sometimes have to pay crystals as well okay, okay. I think I'm there is a very confusing round but i think <laughs> i think we're yeah, there all right I forgot I have a secret mission which basically I can play, but I just I just saw it during Sanders uh, round. I'm sorry, what? I have a secret mission which I could have played during my round, but I forgot to uh, that I had it. Oh, but yeah, uh, did you have to play like things or? Yeah, yeah, no. I only need to have two robots, which I have, and a total of seven. You know, a total of seven points with your players, which I have as okay. well. Well, if it's fine by Sonder, it's fine by me. If you can yeah, play that's it. fine. Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Because it's this one. It's not there on the table. Yeah. So you need to play two robots and a combined yeah. power of higher than seven. Which I really have. So let me check. So this is one robot. Then I have this one here, the special ability. Yeah, yeah, two robots. Seven, indeed. That robot is already, or doesn't that? This yeah, yeah, it counts for one. one. Yeah. One. Then let me get the three, four. So this is three, so we have four, a two, and then a one. So, so this is seven. seven. Yeah, but you need to have more than seven. Oh, yeah, then uh, here you have a two. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> So then your mission is done. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. No, of course. No problem. Okay. The, uh, so all the characters in transit go back into our hands again, and we can supplement our missions. I think that's only me. 
so to s if I am correct. And then we go to the last round, Solner. Yep. If you can be so kind. And Robert is going to be the one who is, uh, I think I'm just going to take. I'll close my resources. I'm going to take a silver mission. Six again. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that one. Oh yeah, resources, resources. Where am I? I am here, so I can get, uh, I have six, twelve, and two, okay. Ten, so it's eleven, then four. Oh, it's twelve, so I'm, I, I am at, I'm maxed out. All crystals, then uh, the board allows. Then you, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I know. Such a waste. Yeah. yeah. You're wasting resources. That's uh, what real life is doing well. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's one card that's not in your hand, uh, Robert. Uh, this one. Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay, I've got my resources. Uh, nope. Now you can get a... You're the only one who can get a uh, location. And you did it again. Yeah, it, it doesn't not like... It's not I will like I'm it. I will, wait, wait. I will. Wait. Maybe will my camera it. angle is better, and then it. Yeah. Your towel flipping skills have been revoked. Yeah, no, it's not, yeah it's, I don't know. It's weird, but it's the last. It's the last tile anyway, because. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, now we both can't, Sander. So. Uh, Rolling. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. For the last time. And you oh. get an encounter. Exactly. You can, however, if you want. Yeah. Because you, I don't know if you want to oh. use your influence that way, but uh -huh. you can use two influence to re-roll one of your sensor dice once per turn. Oh, why not? But That's it doesn't good. necessarily... You might throw another one again, but... Yeah, I will roll this one again. Okay. No, why? Why are you doing that? Why would you throw that one again? Um, nobody now. <laughs> because this is an encounter, so this is potentially bad. Yeah. And this is nothing, so I would rather. I I think you should have rolled this one. Yeah. If I'm just saying, no, but you can still. No, but I already did it. No, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's just a game. Look, now you have an uh, upgrade. <laughs> Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, so kind. You're yeah, I'm kind. still, I'm, uh, I'm still trying to um, rework a bit about how, uh, what type of things are on the dice on the sides and how to implement that rule. So uh, it's still work in progress, and uh, the crowdfunding is not going to be up until like the second week of January anyway. So we still have some time to uh, tweak certain rules here and there. I'll take this one. This card prevent the spaceship from moving this round. Yeah, but that is uh, when you discard, and it it also has the science skill if you if you need. It. So that's like the permanent thing is that it has the the science, science skill, and the temporary thing is the well, what it says yep. on the card. Okay, Sonder, roll it. Ooh, also an encounter. Yeah, and you can't prevent it. Or maybe you can if you use a... You have a card that can prevent it, encounters if it's very terrible. Something bad happened. You find a nearest jump point in a small nebula. It activates when you get close and sucks your ship in. Hold on to something. You get teleported to a different location. The player to your right chooses the location. Play these crew members to prevent teleportation. Navigator, yeah. an archaeologist, and you also can uh, just to because that's uh, you have a character. I think it's your third level from Aviana Prime, who has a special ability to uh, prevent encounters. Yeah, uh, but m you might need it for a mission. So, and it's a teleportation. If you if you are not able to resolve it, then. Robert can choose to place your ship anywhere. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, prevent it indeed. With the with the special ability. Yes. Yeah. You will have to then. You you do have to pay the cost. Yeah. Let's do. Uh, yeah, and it's a solo mission, so he's going. Not that it matters because it's the last round, but. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, now you don't get the rewards because you just prevented the whole thing. So. Okay. Cool. You're up. Uh, oh, it's me, right? Or was I? Oh no, I wasn't the first player. Um, okay, it's me. Rolling. I can choose again, a warp boost or an upgrade. I'm going for the upgrade, I think. Um, oh yes, take this one. Oh no. Sometimes when you scroll over a stack of cards and it tries to get like six cards at once. Um, let me see. Okay. That's it. Now it's your command phase, Robert. You can yes, my last one. Your last one. See how much okay, points you can so still get. What I'm gonna do is I'm travel to this one. Yeah. And then I use my warp speed. Wait, to you, go wait, wait, you get two resources here. Oh yeah, again. Oh yeah. Always forget. No one, right? No In two, because you upgraded fully. Oh yeah, it's a double, doubling yeah. up. Okay, thanks. Yeah. So I had eleven here. You did that for the place you were at, right? Yeah, yeah, I did that for the place where I was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That I did. Uh, then I use my warp speed to go to this one, to the Bogor again. Yeah. So that would cost me, I thought, two crystals, right? Yeah, two Bye. crystals or four, uh, four raw materials or a combination of both. Crystals. Yeah. Now you have a lot of them. So. Yeah, exactly. And you get one resource again because you're picking up some stuff. Yeah, so let me add that then. We'll go to 14. So I'm going to build first my uh, second embassy and then immediately also my third. Is that allowed? Yeah, yeah of course. Right. Yeah. So you're going to pay nine. 11. 11? Yeah, 11. Five. No, in total. You, it, you're on Bogor, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, I look at the wrong planet. Yeah, you're right. 11. It's five yep. and six. Yeah, I looked at the wrong card. It's 11, so it's three each left. So then at least there's again at one point. Yeah. And of course the two, uh, but yeah, don't you can use them anymore, the two characters. Yeah. Okay, that is the first thing. Then I am fairly sure I can play my uh, silver uh, mission, the tactical, the practical, the target practice. The target practice, that's a soldier and uh, two level threes. Yeah, so first the level threes, so there is one. Then here we have a soldier, we have another soldier, and the other level three is here. You, you only need one soldier, so... Oh, you want the bonus as well? Yeah. Okay. No, I, oh no, I, have to, I don't have another one, so too bad for me. So yeah, you, no do. Bonus. You, you do, check the mission. You, you need one soldier and, and two level threes. Yeah, I have those, yeah. yeah but but yeah. I don't have two additional soldiers. No, but you already played two soldiers, and you only needed one. Ah, okay, that's okay. Then, okay, then I have it. Yeah. You only need one soldier, but you played two of them, so. Okay, then I have the bonus as well. <clears throat> so I finished this mission. That will go here. Cool. Wait, I will put my embassies there as well. And you get. I don't know if you're gonna need it, but you get two, uh, uh, two influence as well. Okay. What you could do maybe is see if you can buy a special. Uh, yeah, like a simple secret mission or something that you could get a few more points. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, this is the simple that. Cost me two, right? Of those special abilities, of of the influence. No, three. Three. Okay. Three. 
Secret mission is three. It says on the you have that card in the middle where you can check your yep. uh, what stuff costs. Let me take an easy one. You are taking a gold one now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm taking the whole pile, by the way, I see now. Yeah, wait, I'll put it back. You can. Uh, just, uh, there's something wrong with the. I don't know what's going on, but everything you get gets like just at a weird angle. <laughs> yeah, and I keep changing then my angle, this too, but yeah, I don't know. No, just get a bronze one. I'm trying yeah. to. I don't know how to get the whole stack. I don't, I don't know how you did that. No, I did it. Huh? I'm just clicking it. How did, you, how did you get the whole stack? I don't know how you did it. All right, so out oh, this way. Okay. <laughs> I think we it's like half an hour extra time to fiddle get with. The, yeah, it seems that way. But this is a secret mission, so just take it in your hand. Oh, no. Gee, come on. It's a secret mission, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Right? Let me see what I need to do. Oh, you already did it, so. Oh, yeah, I have it, yeah. Yeah, so fine, you can finish it. Yeah, I finish it. That's easy. And a bonus? That doesn't matter. I don't need it. Well, you can play a card because uh, I think you... Because, look, he has to build, like, one embassy on a city location. Yeah. And uh, he has a... Oh. Which is not his starting location. And he already built this one as well, so... Okay, was that your turn? Okay. Yeah, I let me see. Can I do this? No. No, that's it. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay, Sander. I built my third embassy on my location where I'm at. Uh, yeah. Uh, nine three. I will grab the last person. Gain me an influence. Then I'm gonna play a secret mission. Of course you are. In this one. Well, I need to let build a level three on a technology planet. Yeah. And then do three navigation or three chemistry. I'm gonna go for the navigation. One. Two. Oh god. Wait, it doesn't work. What? I don't have. Uh, oh no, wait, I can discard my, my. Yeah, you can give a robot a skill with yeah, discard. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna do that. So discard. No, that's me. not a robot you got. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Those are mushroom guys. Those aren't robots. This is a robot. Yeah, that's a robot. I'll discard this that one, one and then it gives you... Yeah. You will probably give him the navigation skill, right? Yeah, correct. I figured it's... Cool. Five points. Uh, yeah, indeed. Well it's done. In the and then I'm going to move. Some more resources. That's only three. Uh, then I'm gonna build a second embassy here. It's gonna cost me seven. Sorry, where were you at? Oh, there. Muscaria. I will grab you that guy. Doesn't really yeah. matter, but just for fun. Oh, <laughs> Robert went offline. I'm wait for the ending. What? No, I'm not <laughs> offline. Oh, you're not oh. offline. I thought you were angry and throwing the table. Oh, oh wait, now I get, huh? No, you're you're here. I think you're here, but. I'm here, but now my, my, uh, my screen went. Oh, now I'm back, sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm back. No, because we had a, we had a pop-up of you went offline. Yeah. So. Oh. But for three uh, influence, I'm gonna take a bronze uh, secret mission. Yeah, you never know. Indeed. 
to uh, not anything. That leaves me done. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, this is gonna maybe take a while because I need a puzzle. Um, at least I, th I think I can do this one without much hassle. Um, is there a cool thing? Uh, how much? I can reprogram three robots. And I can discard this to. Oh, yes. I can give somebody skills. And I have two robots. Okay. I really want to do my golden mission, but I'm not sure if I can do it. Um, I might need to backtrack a bit, but. <laughs> Let's let's see. Um, I am at first going to travel to this here location, fire location, and I'm going to try and do this mission. Travel to fire location and have two wing things, uh, two pilots and two archaeology. I have three archaeology. So that's at least done. Show and up. I have one pilot. And I think I will. I'm going to reprogram this robot. So I'll just flip it like this to give also the pilot skill. So then I've done this mission, which is a four points. And now I'm going to do my secret mission, which is two pirates and a gun. And if I'm at a fire location, I get a, an, an upgrade as well. So I have two pirates. And I have a guy with a gun. He, uh, I have a soldier. And I am at a fire location, so I also get an upgrade. It just doesn't really matter which one, I think. No, I'll get this one. Uh, not useful, but whatever. I am fully upgraded, my ship. Okay, and now I'm going to try and do something weird, maybe. See if I can make it. I am going to discard my dimension folder and I am going to move to this planet Konglong all the way on the other side of the galaxy and it cost me four to build an embassy there but I want to try and fully upgrade it immediately so that's nine that's 15 and i have 20. so i can fully upgrade it immediately so that's three embassies there and i'm not sure if this is going to work but we'll see um one two three oh wait Three. And let me see, what do I need? I need three embassies on a plant location, which I did. And I need three 
uh, psychic skill or three of these feet uh, of these like animals I don't have those but there is one of those in the store so wait I have five left not 15 I paid 15 so I'm gonna pay two and grab one of those icons that have like the like the beast icon this one, I'm going to grab it from the store. It has the same icon as my mission. So I have one of those already. And I need two more. And I have two robots here. So I'm going to use this one and this one to reprogram them for four and reprogram them as beasts as well. So I've also done this mission. So these are all in my done mission file and I think I can't do anything else anymore because I can't reprogram a robot anymore I don't have money yeah so that's it oh that was it <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Uh, I was, yeah. I was <laughs> I'm sorry what do you say no, no I said oh that was it yeah that's I was it. planning on this for a while and it worked out yeah, that worked out well, but that was uh, experience planning. Yeah, but I also, this is actually, I think, one of the first times I've actually won my own game, maybe. But I don't know how many points we have, everybody has, but I think... Yeah, it will be hard to beat, I think. Yeah. I think it's will hard to beat. I have 17. I have 17, 20, 22. And I have this is, yeah. one, two, three upgraded planets, so I have 25. Yeah, I'm at 20. Oh, but still relatively close. Nice. I do remember one game we played uh, with the prototype, and I think somebody had like 31 points and we all had 15, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, cool, nice. Are we still, by the yeah. way, streaming, Ruud? Or Yeah, we're still streaming. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> We're streaming for no one, but it's just to have like a, have like a video up on the on the on my Twitch channel. So uh, it wasn't no, for nothing. Right, well. We've been streaming yeah. for uh, we've been streaming for two and a half hours, so that's uh, quite a my long time. Ever, so it's good. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. what? My first stream ever. Yeah, mine as well. So uh, <laughs> it's it's a debut. And uh, okay. no, but I think it's uh, if you it's like two and a half hours now. But I think if you would play without the fiddliness of um, of an online version, I think with three people you were probably looking around like pl playing for two hours or something. So yeah, yeah. Oh, but it's nice. No. And I think let's do it real life soon. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. And yeah. Uh, yeah, well, we uh, we won't go into like if you have any questions or whatever. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end the stream on uh, on this. Yeah. And uh, I refer to the website. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah, you can go to uh, that's very good. If you, you can go to uh, playstellarexpedition.com to check out everything. There's a link to all my social channels. There's a link to the how to play guide. If this was super confusing for you, with like three guys talking for two and a half hours, uh, the how to play guide is only 15 minutes, so that's fine. And you will also find a link to my Kickstarter page, which will go up probably somewhere in the second week of January. So um, yeah, thanks everybody for for watching and uh, thanks Sander and uh, and Robert for uh, playing this with me for two and a half hours. Yeah, thanks. That's really fun. So pleasure. everybody buy it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really nice. All fun. Okay, thank you. Thanks. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.